Hi, I'm Tara Lightfoot, and this is Live on the Lot on Skippy TV, and I'm going to do a song called Stars Over Dakota. Hi, I'm Tara Lightfoot, and you're watching Live on the Lot on Skippy TV. And I'm going to do a song about being in love with a couple of people. It's called Two Hearts. That night in Berlin, the 
chill, unforgiving. Fill me up with temptation. Oh, I got two hearts. Tara Lightfoot, welcome to Live on the Lot. Thanks. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty amazing sound you've got there. Thank you. And congratulations on the, the new album. Oh yeah, it's the best. I feel like I'm <laughs> only saying thank you. You're saying too many nice things to me new all mistakes. at once. So, but, but here it is. So the, the new album, New Mistakes. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Been getting a rave review here in Australia. Yeah. And, uh, and the tour's been going smashingly. The tour's been amazing. Yeah. Uh, with William Crichton. With William Crichton. He's an Australian. Yeah. And so we're doing a tour trade. Yep, okay. um, so he's brought me here for a couple weeks. Yep. And he's also brought me hiking and to really? see kangaroos. So exciting. <laughs> Sorry, I know you're, you might not be as excited. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so you actually have been out in the bush with him walking around? Yes. Yeah, okay. And so how, how have you found the Australian audiences? Amazingly receptive. Yeah, okay. uh, we played at Yaya's in Melbourne mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and people went bananas. Crazy. Yeah, okay. It's a big music town in Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Majors Creek Festival, we just got back from there. Yeah, okay. You were, the, you were there it, last night? Yes. Yep. And it was incredible. Yep. A little countryside festival. Yeah, yeah. And so is it just the two of you or any, any, any other artists been on the tour with you? Uh, just the two of us. And then I brought my band. So I brought my drummer, Joel, and my bass player, Maury. Dragged them around uh, the other side of the, the world? Yeah, I think they are being dragged in some ways. We're, we've gone a lot of places. <laughs> um, but we're happy to be here. So... You know, been uh, on Doctor Google, of course, and uh, you know, finding everything about you—all the good, good all the all the, the good and the bad. Yes. Um, but you know, and I've read that you're personally really, really happy with with the new album. Yes. Um, as an artist, sort of what you know, and where you are in the stage of your career, what what really stands out for you personally with with the new album? Um, well, I think with the new record, the last record that we made was exciting because it kind of like set the stage for us in Canada and the states and in Europe. 
Mm. And in the UK, we did a lot of touring on it. Mm. And that's kind of where we cut our teeth. You know, we decided, I decided I wanted to do this for a living. So prior to this album, you were still sort of, I suppose, personally, there was sort of a, a toe that wasn't fully in the music industry, do you think? Or Yeah, I, I was teaching music and I was walking dogs and I was, mm. you know, cooking gourmet meals and not really doing much else. Mm. And I wasn't... Uh, sure whether I could handle touring. Mm. And so was it, was it the touring or getting this album out or or all that, the process of a, as a, you know, an artist and a storyteller and writing these songs mm -hmm. that, that it, was there a point that you can look back and remember where it was just like, fuck it, this is it, do you know what I mean? Actually, one of them was when I wrote Stars Over Dakota. So this, this mm. record is very much written on the road. So yeah. it's kind of a roadmap of the places that we've been. Mm. Um, and that Stars Over Dakota writing session happened in the van mm. when we were driving all around the Great Lakes in five days, mm. which is insane. It's like driving, it was 52 hours of driving in five days. Mm. So that meant we had to drive overnight a lot. Um, and one of those drives, the guys were all asleep in the van and I'm looking at these gorgeous, like mm. a blanket of stars, similar to the ones that I've seen here. Yeah, okay. They're so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Um, and it was just that moment thinking like, okay, I'm on the road and I'm, I can't be with anybody right now. And this is what's happening and this is where I am and I have to just write from it. And do you think, you know, because everyone's sort of talking about how this new album's got a, you know, a, a more of a rock sound compared to your previous work. And do you think that hustle and bustle and the grind and the fatigue and, you know, and, and being away from your home and your family mm -hmm. on, on the road, did that had a strong influence on this, do you think? Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ruthless is definitely a song where, mm. you know, I kind of wrote it about a phone call. Yeah, okay. that I got in Texas at South by Southwest when I phones never work to stay in touch with somebody as much as you think that they will even FaceTime it just doesn't it doesn't work so for me some of those songs are about reassuring the person that you're with or your family or whoever's at home that things are okay that you're okay that yeah. you know you care about them yeah. it's hard to do so some pretty big names have worked on this album with you Jake Clemens from the E Street Band mm -hmm. and Oliver Wood from the Wood Brothers yes um, how did that come about? well I met Jake at a charity fundraiser in Canada, mm -hmm. and he basically wanted to buy my album after we played, yeah, wow. which was disturbing and scary for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And I wouldn't take his money, <laughs> yeah, okay. well, because I knew who he was. Yeah, yeah. And so I refused to take his money, and he eventually just shoved it into my hands. Yeah. And uh, I guess he liked the album, and he continued to absorb it, like yeah. the, the, our last record. And then um, Huge validation, though, to get, you know, it was crazy. It's, it's nice to be wanted. Yeah, it was very nice. And then next time he was in Toronto, he took me out for dinner. Mm -hmm. And then we just became friends after that. And right. so it was a logical thing when we finished one of the songs. I thought, it needs saxophone. Mm -hmm. And who is the best saxophone yeah, yeah. player that I know? <laughs> yeah, that everyone knows. Probably. And he just graciously accepted. And, yeah, um, wow. So that's a happy moment for me. And then Oliver Wood, uh, the Wood Brothers, we did a tour with them in Germany. So... Yeah, we were opening these shows for him, and I stayed in touch when he lives in Nashville. Mm. So he actually took me out on the release day of my last record for breakfast, which is so sweet. And I wanted some slide guitar, and I don't play slide, so I called him up. And he, again, graciously agreed. I just feel very lucky. Yeah, okay. That's all I can say. Yeah. Well, the world sends you what you need when you need it, doesn't it? I suppose so. And so talking, uh, talking about the big names, so the, um, the Lightfoot name, there's obviously... You know, a, a huge musical name there. Mm -hmm. I have to ask, any connections there with Gordon? Well, the first time I met Gordon, we were on the same bill, yeah. on a festival bill. So he's, he's not your father? Well, I'm still not sure about that. Yeah, okay. No, he's definitely <laughs> not. Um, yeah, the first time I met him... Do a lot of people ask you this or, or oh, all the time? Like twice a day. Yeah, okay. Even in Australia, I thought maybe here it would cease, but no, it never does. It follows me everywhere, which I'm happy with. Uh, but we've played together a lot, and how amazing! He's yeah, he's another very gracious man. Um, he asked me the first time we met. He said, "You're the other Lightfoot on the bill." <laughs> I said, "Yeah," and he said, "Well, are we related?" <laughs> and I said, "I don't know. You're supposed to know that." <laughs> uh, but no, my my name is Scottish. Okay. And his name, I don't know where it comes from. He he doesn't know either. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so a few more gigs in Australia before you abandon us and go home. Yes, and I'm sad to abandon you because yeah, okay. I love it here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're playing in Brisbane on Thursday. So. Well, and, you know, it sounds like Australians are falling in love with you, so any plans to come back soon? 
I will be back in the springtime oh, in fantastic. Canada, which means the fall for you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, autumn, we call it out here probably. Oh, autumn. Yeah, mm. yeah. We're a little bit backward in Australia. It's um, not backward. It's beautiful because it's hot <laughs> all the time. And so all the details will be on your website if people can sort of follow you there and yes. s- stay up to speed with you. TerraLightfoot.com. Okay. Well, Terra Lightfoot, thank you for coming on Live on the Lot. Thank you. Okay. Yeah.